Welcome back, viewers. I hope you're enjoying tonight's show and, of course, our special uh, guest, uh, the wonderful Johnny Di Francesco, uh, to reiterate the fact that he became the 15th most successful person in the world at the uh, Olympics that were held in Naples. And that's a pretty big deal. I mean, you know, I think, uh, wow. I mean, who would have thought they would have been talking about pizza Olympics 20 years ago? I mean, it's kind of elevated it as, as a food uh, product in a way, hasn't it? Correct. The years have really just shown us what you can do with pizza. And, of course, that's going to be my next question. What else is happening with pizza overseas, Johnny? Okay, so with the uh, Pizza Olympics, what they did was they put in the category of pizza artistic. Um, and there was... Was yeah. that with an R? P pizza artistica. Artistica, <laughs> yeah. Artistica. Can you say so, the name of the association again? Associazione. Associazione. <laughs> so, so what they did was this category, they allowed people to try and create some artistic uh, view through pizza making. Okay. And, and, you know, there was ranges of people doing, um, you know, turtles out of um, pizza dough and so What's the relevance to, is that because Naples is on the water? Yeah, on the water. There was also um, an island, so to me it demonstrated that it was Napoli yeah. with, you know, their yeah. um, beautiful island. And um, there was just so many different types of um, artistic um, pizza styles. Style pizza. And were they edible or were they just purely for show? Look, I think they're purely for show. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't eat them. No. Um, because there was some, you know... I, well, some foams and stuff yeah. used as well. So oh, it was... Oh, spuma, of course, yeah. Italians. They had to hit Napoli. <laughs> <laughs> so so it, was, it was interesting. And I think yeah. that might be the next um, uh, breakthrough in Italy where people are going to try and, you know, create even more so artistic style yeah. pizza. So, yeah. How do you think the Neapolitans react to that? Because, of course, the birthplace of pizza, that's where it is. Now, how do they? How do the older generation cope with that? Do they embrace it? Look, they, they embrace it um, purely because they invented this yes. category this yes. year. They wanted to see what, what are pizza makers out there doing? What can, can they do? Can they yes. reinvent something? Can they open up their mind and, and create something new? And, yes. and I saw it this year was just amazing. Mm. And of course, for our viewers at home, the association has delegation, as you, as you probably heard Johnny say, in America, but also in Japan. I'm assuming that therefore they will use products that, uh, that, you know, that, that you find there that you may not find in Napoli. So I guess it, uh, it'll take it to another different level completely. Whole, whole new culture. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's uh, have the final recipe. Calzone ripieno con mascarpone, fichi secchi, sì. and? And vincotto. And vincotto, there you go. Okay, so to make the um, sweet pizza, you're gonna have to start off with making a dough. If you go back on the uh, regional um, Italian cuisine show, you'll see that um, I've demonstrated how to make um, pizza dough, and it's quite simple. It's just water, salt, um, yeast, and flour. So the first step to making this sweet pizza is we're gonna have to stretch out our dough. Um, so you just get it to your desired, desired um, size, and we're gonna use um, mascarpone. So we're gonna place the mascarpone on one side of this pizza dough and just spread it out as evenly as possible. We're then gonna add some dried fig. Again, just um, spreading it out as even as possible. And the final step, which is Probably the hardest step is we're going to actually fold the dough over. So we make it into like a cozzoni style. So we're going to fold that over and press down on the edges. Once you've closed the, um, the pizza pocket, we can trim off the edges just to make your shape. Quite simple. If you've got a pizza cutter, it's really easy. If you don't, then just use a spatula. But just trim around as close as possible to all your ingredients because we don't want too much dough. We want the 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 um the star of this product is the, the ingredients, so the mascarpone and the fig. Okay, so now that I've trimmed off the edges, this product's ready to go into the oven. Now if you don't have a pizza oven at home or a wood fire pizza oven at home, you can use your conventional oven. Just turn it up to about 220, 230 degrees and you're gonna cook it at home for around seven or eight minutes. Um, it's going to take a little bit quicker in our oven because our oven's a little bit hotter. So we're going to pick this pizza up now and we're going to put it into the oven. Just remember to flour your tray if you're going to use a tray. 
Okay, so this has been cooking for a few minutes. Now we have our beautiful dessert pizza ready. So we're going to add some vincotto over the top. Some uh, icing sugar. A nice uh, gelati next to it. And we've our beautiful dessert pizza. Now Luigi ate my, my mussels. Emily ate my pasta. So guess what guys, I'm eating the dessert. Mm. Thanks Johnny, the widget got the uh, rest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of viewers, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, fantastic uh, uh, show on Pizza, pizza napoletana. And of course, Johnny, we have to reiterate to our viewers that this is just one type of pizza. We're not saying it's a pizza, it's the one that, that is your roots in a way. Correct. I mean, there's so many different styles of pizzas. Yes. Um, you know, and they're, and they're all pizza, but if we talk about um, traditional pizza, I yes. talk about pizza napoletana. Of course. So if you'd like to join one of our classes one day, I'd love to have you there. Tell me, how often yeah. do you run the classes? So once. Um, Every third Saturday of the month, yeah, um, we run our classes, and I personally take the class. All right, Johnny. Well, I hope you'll come back and join us again. And I think people just love your infectious, uh, you know, attitude towards pizza because really, it is the food that is the buzzword of the moment. But it's actually also healthy food, isn't it? It is. All right. All right. Alla prossima. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.